guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how to transfer all of your WhatsApp messages from an Android phone to an iPhone. Now, I've got a Google Pixel 4a and an iPhone SE. These are a couple of spare phones, and I've just got some sample messages that I've sent with a brand new SIM card on my Android phone. So these are the messages that you're going to see me transfer to the iPhone. So just some sample messages I've sent as two individual ones, friend one, friend two, and I've created a group chat as well. You'll see that there's some media and some pictures of my MacBook Pro that I've also shared. So I'm gonna transfer the media across as well. Now the SIM card is set up in my Google Pixel 4a, so it's in here. So what I need to do is I need to get all of these into the SIM card when I transfer it into the iPhone. Now this works with any Android phone and any iPhone. So I just have a couple, couple of, no, I just have a couple of spare ones. By default, natively, there's no way to do this. You can't back up to Google on this and then restore it on an iPhone using a Google account. It's not possible to do that. And I haven't found any way to do this other than using an external software. And this is the one I'll be showcasing. So this is called Wondershare Mobile Trans. A lot of you guys have asked this question to me in my previous video when I transferred everything from an Android phone to an iPhone after 10 years. And I wanted to showcase to you guys how to actually do that. Now, just a side disclaimer, this is not free. You'd also have to pay to do this. Unfortunately, that might be the only solution. So for a WhatsApp transfer version of this app, it's around $40. I went ahead and done the full features for $50 so I can transfer pretty much anything from an Android phone to an iPhone. The last thing I want to mention is this also works the reverse way as well. So you can also transfer your WhatsApp from an iPhone to an Android phone. So let's go ahead and set this up. So what you'll need is the original cable that came with your Android and your iPhone. Put it into your MacBook or whatever laptop you have, even if it's a Windows one, just make sure it's the original cable. So this one only has USB-C port, so I have the USB-C to C for the Android and then USB-C to Lightning for the iPhone. So let me go ahead and connect this. I've now loaded the app here. So what I'm going to do is first select WhatsApp transfer. And this will give you very basic on-screen instructions that you can follow. So when I go ahead and hit transfer, it will take me to the first step. I will select transfer WhatsApp messages. Now, as you can see, let me just zoom in a little bit. So this is asking me to connect the first phone. So whether that's the Android or an iPhone, whichever you want to transfer from, connect the first one, and I'll just put that into the USB port here. And it should detect it. So you'll see there's a message that pops up for you to enable USB debugging via developer options. There's some instructions, so quickly go ahead and do that via settings. On your Android phone, once you've enabled developer options, you go into that and then click on USB debugging, allow that, and now you should be ready to transfer. As you can see, it's now given a confirmation that you need to authorize this on your phone. So let me go ahead and make sure I select always allow for this computer, click on allow, and this is now detected as a Google Pixel 4a. Now I'm going to connect the iPhone. And then on the iPhone, just make sure you select trust, enter your passcode, and you'll see that now the destination and the source are connected. So I don't need to open up anything, I'll just leave it unlocked. Let me just put this on the side there so you guys can see it. So now both phones are unlocked. I've just left them on the home screen. I'm gonna follow the on-screen instructions and click start. So now you have two options. You can either select to keep the existing data on the target device. So if that already had WhatsApp on there, which it doesn't, I've downloaded the app, but it's just detected it as it being an active WhatsApp user. All you need to do is select no if you don't have any other WhatsApp messages and then you can proceed. If you get a confirmation to turn off the chat backup on your source device, then go ahead and do that. So you go into settings, you go into chats. When you go into chat backup, you need to just make sure that backup to Google Drive is set to never. This would allow it to transfer over to the iPhone. Okay, as you can see, it's now starting. So all I need to do is just wait for this to finish. So 
So now you see there's confirmation that the restore has been completed. So now the iPhone is actually restarting itself. So once I log in and then I can transfer over the SIM card that's on my Google Pixel 4a into my iPhone and the WhatsApp messages should be there. So now I'm just taking my SIM card, putting it into the iPhone. Once it's registered and you see it appear on the top left of the screen, you can now log into WhatsApp. Okay, I've just confirmed with my name. Click OK, just turn off the backup for now. And there you go. And there you go, you can see all of my previous messages. If I just go into one of them, here's the ones that I was showing you earlier with my media. So if you have all of your photos and videos that you've shared with people, they can also be transferred and saved into the gallery. So all my messages are there. It was successful. It was pretty straightforward. Just need to follow the on-screen instructions using the app. So let me know if you guys have any questions. This is the app that you can download now for Windows and Mac. The link will be in the description below. If you did like this tutorial, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I've got plenty of really useful tutorials like this coming out in the near future. Make sure you like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.